So this video is going to show you how to set up a sky dome so that you can have an alpha channel in the background. Now I've always rendered with PNGs using Mentor Ray. So now with the new Arnold using the sky dome lighting, um, I need to work out a way that I can work with that. Now the advice is change your image format from PNG to EXR. I'm using EXR. Uh, the PNG just doesn't save an alpha when you're using Arnold. Don't know why, um, but that's the way it works. So that's the first step. And the second step, on your sky dome light, you'll have a visibility option. Uh, and you need to turn the camera here, camera option, down to zero. So that will allow it to work as an alpha rather than showing the image of the sky dome light. If you want to have the image of the HDR of, that you've got on the sky dome, keep that up. Um, but if you're using this for compositing, you'll need to turn that right down. The rest of the video will show you a demonstration of this, but those are the two things. So EXR for vi image format and camera and the visibility down to zero if you need an alpha channel and using the Arnold renderer. This is a follow-up to the rendering question I had the other day in the Creative Skills module. Uh, what was happening was the sky dome light was showing up within the, the render, when you do render sequence, and um, you didn't have an alpha channel, so you had to do them all manually. Uh, looking into this, I've had the same effect happen to me, um, and I found a solution though on, on Reddit, where do you disable Arnold Sky Dome light primary visibility to get the alpha channel background? Um, the answer, if I can find that, was uh, visibility tab there's a set of sliders for camera turning down camera disabled the dome from being rendered and then this one here uh, it's also worth noting that when I was trying to export with PNG Arnold does not support the alpha channel so as you can see here we do have this white in the background and this won't show up as a an alpha channel so I, I know that for for sure. Uh, the, what, what I change in the settings is uh, to, I do need to change in here what file format it's going to save to. Uh, so that was an important part of that post. So PNGs won't have an alpha channel. So I'm going to use this EXR file. I've never liked these because they don't have, uh, you can't preview them just natively in the desktop but actually they are the default uh, and they can have a high dynamic range and there's a lot of benefits to that. So generally I hadn't just tried not to use them, but uh, I think that obviously now we've got a, a need for it. Um, so I'm gonna just tell it to do by certain frames. I'm gonna tell it to do frame one to one. No, one to two. So that'll save these two uh, the disk alpha test okay so that's setting up my render setting so I'm getting the right file format as per this post trying to export with PNG doesn't support Arnold okay so what I'm gonna do now is go back and just have another look at the uh, sky dome light as well and the setting I'm gonna change on that is uh, visibility so uh, down here visibility camera one I turn that down to nothing and uh, so that's on zero all the rest I leave as, as normal um, and so I'll save this scene and I will try another render come back to that in a moment So this render's happened and now I can see that actually in the background I have these black areas. Um, so I'm going to save just uh, so I know it's different. So I'm just going to do this as a test. Um, test alpha PNG. I'll save that one. But I'll also do a save image uh, EXR. Because um, I think this is what you would do. You're possibly saving that as a PS. Actually, I'll just check the PS. PNG. 
um, with that as well. So uh, if I find that, I can uh, just check it and see if there's an alpha on there already. And then I'm going to go on to try and do the, the batch sequence, which I think uh, is important for you as well. If you're trying to uh, make sure you've got a smooth uh, piece of work. So here when I open this one, exactly what you had, it does have the alpha on it. So I can see that's turning out white and that's representing the alpha channel. Uh, we'll open that with Photoshop just to verify that. But I'll also set this going as, as a, a render sequence as well. So I'm rendering uh, a sequence, there's only two frames it's going to render. So they'll set that up to run and just check that uh, it is fully working as a render sequence because that's the ideal way of, of working. So it's rendered my two, two images. I'm going to just try and bring those images into After Effects just to make sure there is an alpha channel on them. So uh, I will I'm right clicking in that window and import file um, and I should be able to select that as an image sequence so, uh, so we go into here images and so it's these two files it does actually have this white showing up opening up that sequence um, then I can, it's got this floating point plus pre-multiplied. Uh, if I make a new composition with that, what I've got is that showing through in the background. So I can I can make sure that is a day, I can just see black in the background at the moment, but I could say new uh, solid for the background, white solid, and I can see that that is appearing through that, just make it slightly different, uh, just so that I can uh, see that. Taking too long choosing. <laughs> so many options. Just so I've got something. No, I don't want that effect. Um, so I can see that's in the background. Uh, turn that one off completely but the other things I can do is in my project window uh, I can change these uh, um, attributes as well so I turn off that white solid because it was rendering the actual uh, skybox was rendering with white when I did that so if I go to right click it and interpret footage main then uh, that's where I can change the frame rate and also I can tell it to ignore that. So if I didn't want to have um, the alpha channel show up, that should be possible to have that in there. Okay, it's alpha ignored. Uh, okay, it's gonna have the alpha channel whatever in that case. Uh, straight unmatted, so it's got, I'm sure it's got the information in there somewhere. Rematted with color black. Uh, straight unmatted. And here I'm getting this white image. Oh, that's the kind of checkerboard, isn't it? Um, so I can just see that, that that's got the cutout on anyway. But that's what you want. Um, so that's the way to work with it. So hopefully that's asked, answered the questions. We can, as a, obviously, a sequence of two frames. Um, but that should be able to automate your system. So changing the uh, camera, the uh, Skydome options of visibility, turning the camera down to zero, and changing the image format to EXR. That's the thing, two things you need to do.